Hey everyone, welcome back. I went to Dollar Tree recently and they are finally starting to put out all of their Halloween craft supplies and Halloween decor. So today I have five brand new Halloween Dollar Tree DIYs for you. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video. Okay, let's get into them. For this first DIY, I'm going to use these wooden haunted houses from Dollar Tree. They had five different types at my Dollar Tree, so I picked up one of each type and I thought it would be cute to make a Halloween haunted house silhouette centerpiece with these. So I picked up three of these boards and I am just going to attach them together with some hot glue. You could definitely use wood glue, that would probably be better, but I reinforced the back with some staples so that way it will stay good um, and then once that was done I took the haunted houses and I lined them up and then I hot glued them to the front of the board now like I said this is gonna be a silhouette piece so I painted everything with this flat black spray paint and you could definitely paint them any color you wanted you could add more details you can put lights behind them like I did I love how this turned out it's so simple so easy to do but I think makes a perfect statement you could put this in the middle of your dining room table or on a mantle and it is just so much fun and so cute for Halloween. For this next DIY, I'm going to use four of the Dollar Tree 8x10 black canvases. You can use the white canvases um, and just reverse this DIY, um, but I'm going to use the black ones for this. And I lost some footage, unfortunately, of me removing the canvases from the frames, but it's super simple to do. You can just use a staple remover and pull the staples out and you can remove the canvases uh, from the frames that way. Now what I'm going to do, um, since the canvases are removed, I'm just staining the frames uh, with some American Walnut stain and just wiping it on and wiping the excess off and letting them dry. Next, after the canvases are dry, I'm just gonna flip them over to the back and I am going to reattach the black canvases to the back of the frame so that way the frame is showing and the canvases are on the back. I'm just using hot glue to attach the canvases back on to the frames. Um, and then once they are all attached, I just used an X-Acto knife and I just went right up to the edge of the frame and cut off the excess canvas to remove those pieces to make it nice and easy. So now I'm going to glue the frames together sort of like a picture window. Um, I'm just using hot glue for this, but you could definitely use wood glue and clamp this down um, and it would have a better hold. And then I printed off on canva.com a template of three different size bats to use. I will link the template down below. It's free, you can print it off on your own and then you can cut the bats out like I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna use those bats to trace on to my canvas with just a pencil um, and I'm just tracing them onto one canvas and then moving to the next and I'm making it look like the bats are flying from one corner of the canvas into the next picture frame and into the top picture frame and then into the last one and flying off of the picture frame if that makes sense. The last thing I did was take some white chalk paint and I just filled in all of the bats that I traced onto my canvases. Now you could definitely use acrylic paint or whatever paint you have on hand. I just had the chalk paint on hand so that's what I used. And that's it. This is such a super simple, easy, inexpensive Halloween DIY and it's very um, classy, not too over the top, so I think it goes with a lot of um, my decor or really any decor you can have. And like I said, you can definitely reverse this and you can use white canvases with black bats painted on. You could actually cut out the bats with your Cricut. Um, if you found bat stickers, that would work too. So there's all different types of ways you can customize this to your liking. For this DIY, I'm using two of the Halloween trees from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to start off by taking each tree and moving the branches off to one side so that way 
I can put the two trees together and that way it will look fuller. Um, I am just going to put them together by using a zip tie. All I had was red, but that's okay because I covered it up with one of the branches and I just pulled the branches apart and fluffed the tree out after I secured both of the trees together. To decorate my tree, I'm going to make it look like a little witch. So I couldn't find any hats or legs at Dollar Tree, um, but I did find this cute little ghost. So I just removed the hat from his head and I just did that very gently because it's hot glued on so you just want to pull it um, very easily so that that way you don't rip the hat. But once I got that off, I just put it on the top of the tree um, and then I took the legs and feet off of the ghost and I opened up the legs so that that way I could stuff each one. Uh, with some old pillow stuffing so that way it just gave this more of a high-end look and I just pushed the stuffing down with a skewer so that way it would get to the end of the boot and then I attached the legs on to each one of the trunks with some hot glue um, and then it did need to have a little bit of balance to stand up so I used um, one of the stands that came with one of the trees and it worked out perfectly to attach those three pieces to hold up the tree so it could stand. And then I embellished the hat with a little bat clip from Dollar Tree, just hot glued it on there. And then I found this little broom from Dollar Tree. I just pulled off the scarecrow and the leaves um, and cut it down a little bit so it would fit better proportionally with the tree. And then I added some orange battery operated fairy lights and hot glued the battery pack to the back of the legs. And I think this turned out really cute. You could do a different theme. There's all kinds of ways that you can decorate these little trees, but putting both of them together really filled this tree out. And I think it looks super cute with the little witch legs sticking out and it's perfect to set up for Halloween. For this DIY, I'm going to use three of these carpable pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I already had these in my craft stash, but you can use any color um, that they have out now, the black, the styrofoam, or the orange for this project. I just removed the stems and I'm going to also use three of these glass bowls. I started off by using one of the glass bowls and turning it upside down on each of the tops of the pumpkins to draw a circle around the top so that way I could carve out that circle so the bowl could fit inside the pumpkin. I just used an X-Acto knife and carved around and then I went on the inside of the pumpkin in um, and kind of scraped the styrofoam off so that that way it would be even on the inside and then I'm going to use these binder rings from Dollar Tree and I am just hot gluing two of them to each side of each one of the pumpkins as little handles because these are going to turn into little pumpkin cauldrons. Uh, for the feet, I am using these little wooden beads. I already had them in my craft stash, um, but you can get them off of Amazon or Dollar Tree does sell them now. I glued three each on to each one of the bottoms of the pumpkins. Now the next step is to make it look like the cauldron is dripping ooze out of it so I did that with my hot glue gun and I just um, put it at the top of the pumpkin and then just kind of let it drip down and then formed it a little bit where I wanted it to drip down some more you can see here kind of how it looks and you just have kind of big dollops that go around and then you let them dry once they're all dry I spray painted my pumpkins with this flat black spray paint. Typically I wouldn't spray paint styrofoam because it deteriorates the styrofoam, but in this case it kind of gave these pumpkins a hammered look and as long as you don't get too close with the spray paint or do it really thick, then it'll just kind of give you that hammered effect and it makes it look like a real cauldron. Now I needed to come back in and uh, paint the goo or the slime or whatever you want to call it that's coming out of the 
the cauldron. Um, so I am just using some of this chalk paint from Dollar Tree and I am just painting all around the hot glue that I placed on there and then I'm also going on the inside of the cauldron and painting that green as well to give everything a cohesive look and then I placed my bowls inside and they just rest easily in there and you can use these to put dips or crackers or food like I have in here or you can use them as little candy dishes but I think they turned out super cute and perfect for Halloween for this last DIY it's super simple I'm just gonna use one of these glow-in-the-dark skeletons from Dollar Tree and I'm actually going to remove his head so I just pulled on the neck and the head of the skeleton and it popped right off um, and I'm gonna be replacing the head so don't worry uh, I spray painted the body with that same black spray paint that I've been using throughout the video um, and then for the head, I'm actually going to use this hanging um, jack-o'-lantern pumpkin guy from Dollar Tree. I just removed his head from the wired styrofoam arms that was on it. And then I took a hacksaw and removed the neck of the pumpkin. So that way I created a hole um, for the pumpkin's head to uh, sit in the neck. And then I used a little hot glue to secure the pumpkin's head down to the shoulder so it didn't move around. And then I painted everything black because his head just didn't match his body and it felt just disjointed. So I spray painted everything black and then I came back with some uh, orange acrylic paint from Dollar Tree and I painted his eyes and nose and mouth with it. Um, it took about five or six coats to cover up everything uh, for his eyes and nose and mouth. I did use my blow dryer in between as you can see so that that way it dried quicker so that way I could do the coats faster. Um, and then once that was all done and dried I felt like he needed a stem or he needed a hat so I had these witches hats. Um, they're small little witches hats on stakes and I just took the stakes out and I hot glued one of the hats onto the pumpkin and I think he turned out pretty cute. Um, he's spooky but not super scary. Something that you could display on a bookshelf um, or just around your house to give a little bit of Halloween decor and it's super easy and super cheap to do. Alright guys, that is it for the DIYs today. I hope you enjoyed them. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.